Hey everybody, this is a quick shot of just a few machines I have running Windows 8 Consumer Preview on. It just came out uh, a couple days ago. So the first one up right here is HP Slate 500. Um, I don't really have any other drivers installed or anything on it. It's a basic install. The Metro apps will not run yet because the resolution size is wrong. It has to be 1024 by 768. Um, and this is, uh, I don't know what size it is by default, but the Metro apps won't run, but you can... Um, you know, you can select desktop and you can uh, you can do all the normal stuff. But I'm going to be working on this a little bit this weekend. There's some drivers out there I think I can install to get the resolution uh, to work properly. Um, you can see I have it connected to a dock with a keyboard on it. If you hit the Windows key, you can see it's pretty responsive. Um, I, you know what? I haven't really played with this slate too much with the Windows 8 on it so um, just look forward to a little bit more of a not a review but just a little more in-depth view of this thing this weekend um, then we got the Toshiba Tecra I forgot the model number but um, this one uh, runs pretty good it's an older model it's only got a gig of RAM in it and um, I don't remember the exact CPU but um, you know it it does its thing too here check it out Windows key. It's fairly responsive, just switching back and forth from the Metro to the desktop. Um, one thing I do like with this, because it is a tablet, you know, oops. Well, one thing that doesn't work is the screen rotation button. If you install the software from, uh, or the drivers from Toshiba's site, you can, you can rotate it and everything, but um, you have to go into the software and do it. And one note's pretty smooth in here. I like it. So if you want to draw something like, uh, let's see, oops, let's pick our draw. Let's just do red. You know, it's it's fairly smooth, and the harder you press, the thicker the line. Um, it's a really nice feel. Of course, this tablet isn't de designed for you know the finger touch. The fingers does nothing. You have to have a stylus, um, which is kind of nice. So if you're gonna be taking notes like this, and you know write cool stuff. There you go. Um, then we got a little bit newer Toshiba. I mean it's newer than this Toshiba but it's still it's got three gigs of RAM. Uh, it's a lower end Celeron processor but you can see I got it hooked up to the dual screen. You can see the responsiveness. Um, I haven't really played with this one yet. I mean I got Office 2010 Professional installed on this one and on this one. I don't have it installed on the slate yet. Um, I haven't really played much with this one. I did with the developer preview and that worked pretty good. Um, we got used to it and it, was, it wasn't too bad actually. Uh, you can see I installed Google Chrome. There it's up. Um, we can drag it over to the other screen of course. But um, and it is running Arrow. You can get the transparent windows and title bars and stuff. Um, it's just a, just a. I don't know. I just wanted to shoot a quick video this morning. I'm not feeling too hot, but uh, I need to get ready to go to work. And uh, I haven't put up any videos for a while, so I figured, eh, let me just shoot something at least. And then another laptop I'm working on, and then my messy desk. So, anyways, all right, guys.